Hello, Lone Fox family. Welcome to my apartment. All right guys, so quickly before jumping into my apartment tour, I just have two announcements. The first one, which is the smaller one, is that my website, Lone Fox, is having a 10% off sale using code just because. So if you use this code at checkout until the 15th of April, you can actually get 10% off of your order, $75 ships free in the US, all that sort of stuff. I'm not gonna talk about that for too much. If you wanna check it out, link is in the description box below. So the reason I'm doing this tour it's because I'm moving. And yes, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, what the heck, you just did a bedroom makeover, you just did a bathroom makeover, like why are you moving? And I asked myself the same exact question, why am I moving? I actually have a full empty apartment tour going up next week of my new apartment, which I am extremely excited to share with you guys. And I'm going to just be diving into all the information in that video. So I think we should just jump right in to this apartment tour and we're gonna actually have to start packing it up soon. So I just wanna share it with you guys before we did so and that is why this apartment tour is here. So let's get started. Quickly before jumping in, I just wanted to share with you kind of like the details of my apartment. Me and my roommate actually live in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment in the West Hollywood or Hollywood area. And the apartment's around 900 square feet and we do pay almost $3,000. We pay $29.50 a month um, and it's actually raising, which is one of the reasons why we are moving, but I will discuss that in the next video. So at the front door here, this is the front door. Of course. So there's a lot of built-ins in this apartment, which is really nice, but this just honestly has a ton of randomness in it. We've kind of also been compiling things in here that we want to put in boxes, so that's why it doesn't look super organized. There's all of our paint up there, which we literally paint the entire apartment with. Um, a sewing machine, some of my DIY products and things like that. And then right here is actually that dresser that I DIY'd and I want to keep this for the new apartment for sure because the new apartment is quite a bit bigger than this one which I'm super excited to share with you guys that empty apartment tour. This is staying here and this print is from Society6. It's like a canvas print and we've had this forever. This is kind of by the front door area. We did this entire space in a living room makeover um, and I wallpapered the entire wall. The wallpaper is from Society6. These prints are also from Society6 as well. Um, and I love this wallpaper. It's really cool, kind of like geometric and very graphic and bold. And then the table here is from World Market and I've had this table forever. We've literally had this for like four years or so. And there's a lot of decor on the top of it. This is actually from my website. I love these little raffia uh, grass bowls that are hand woven. And then these are some chairs that we actually got from a friend. She was getting rid of these when we lived in our downtown apartment. I have this little stool, which I actually had in my downtown apartment as well, but I just couldn't get rid of it. It's from Target and it's actually still available, which is crazy. So that just is there. It's kind of like decorative. We have some hanging plants too. These are super cute. I love this one. Um, this is from Target, the actual planters from Target. And then we're gonna work our way over and this is kind of like part of the living room space. So this is a media console from Article and I really like it. It's very, very low profile and pretty small. Um, and it has like some modern elements to it, which is nice. And then I have some DIY decor over here from a video. And I always wanted to mount the TV on the wall. That's something I always said I was going to do and I never ended up doing it. So I really want to do that in the next apartment for sure. This piece right here is another one of those woven pieces that I actually sell on my website, which I love those. They're just super, super like natural looking. And I have my I Swoon Live Beautiful book, which I love this book as well. Big fan of her. Then over here, there is the fireplace area. And this is really nice. I love having a fireplace instead of an apartment. Our next one actually has one, but it's like not a working fireplace, which you're gonna see. This little slot was actually created for this image. As you can see, it fits perfectly inside of it. And just a couple pieces of decor. This is from lonefox.com, it's super cute. And then just a little candle here. And this is actually a freaking Gucci candle that smells repulsive. Like it does not smell good at all. Below that, there's a couple pieces of decor. I got this globe at a thrift store with my grandpa a long time ago, so I've always just kept that. And then this piece right here is from West Elm when I used to work there. As you can see, there's a balcony out here and all there is on the balcony is this little table and chairs from Ikea. I was working on a patio makeover a couple of weeks ago, but it has been raining nonstop in Los Angeles. But I actually love going out and sitting out here, which is super nice, especially while we're in isolation at the moment. So then moving over to the right of the window, we have a lot of stuff over here. So there is a Papasan chair from World Market. I get asked for this from all the time. And I love this chair so much. And then we have this fig tree, which is also from World Market. 
and my Ikea Rattan shelving system. And we literally had nowhere to put this, but we loved it so much that I literally had to keep it in this apartment. But it is really cute and I'm excited to bring it to the new apartment because it's gonna go perfectly in there somewhere. The whole living room space is actually on top of a rug from Article, which is really nice. It's actually very squishy um, and it's like a braided material, which I think adds a bit of texture to the space. And the couch and coffee table are also from Article. Now this coffee table I film all my videos on. It's super, super nice. I love it. It cleans up really easily. And in the center here, there's a lot of decor that is also from Lone Fox. So this is my favorite candle we saw in Lone Fox. It's the Lavande Lavender Candle. It smells incredible. And this is a new item on the site. It is like a hand carved little heart bowl. That is so cute. It's a mango wood and some DIY coasters that I created on my channel. Candle lighter, which I've shared with you guys before, but it literally is a rechargeable candle lighter. That goes in there. And then we have the couch and this couch is amazing i'm obsessed with this couch we literally love it it's from article i will link the exact one below for you guys if you're curious um and there's just a couple of random decor pillows on here this one's from cb2 target 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 Amazon. The entire gallery wall is from Society6 and I have a whole video of me creating this when I did the makeover here. So make sure to check out the tag if you're curious about how I redid this whole space. This little light here, this is the Mantis wall sconce from CB2. It's really cool because you can actually swivel it out and in. And this is gonna come in really handy for the next apartment as well. So we have some alcoholic beverages here if you would like one. Some little tools. These are from Target and also our speaker. So when our friends come over, we could play music and stuff. And then moving over from the bar over here, there is the kitchen. And this is a really nice size kitchen. I actually really like it. And I like how it's kind of like tucked away in its own little cave over here. So we have the refrigerator and I have an entire video makeover of this kitchen for you guys, which is going to be in the card up there if you're curious. Um, basically in this kitchen, I redid all of the walls with peel and stick tile, which looks incredible. I'm absolutely obsessed. I also DIY'd this little hanger here, which is still here. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, do you still have that? And yes, it's still going strong. Love this so much. It stores some stuff and it adds like a cute little vibe. And then, yeah, I mean, there's not much other stuff in here. We just have like a toaster oven over here. This really, really super pretty copper KitchenAid, which is amazing. Obsessed with that. I'll link that below if you are curious. Also, my Magnolia Table book, and I want to get her new one, which is coming out soon. I'm just a huge Joanna Gaines fan, so we have that little pasta here and some knives. In here, I think we're going to start off with my roommate's room first because... Why not? Now this room was actually a video that I filmed a super, super long time ago on my channel, which again, will be in a card up there somewhere. And we filmed this like probably a couple of years ago when I had like 80,000 subscribers. It was one of my first room makeovers ever on this channel. We did this really cool accent wall on the wall, which is called Tsunami. And I'm not sure what brand is, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys. And we got Marie this headboard from Urban Outfitters, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is from Urban Outfitters. And then Marie's bedding is like, this is all basically from Target. Mm -hmm. Target, 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 where's this? Target. Target. Where did you get your nightstands from? Wayfair. Wayfair, because these were a recent, not a recent edition, but they were after the makeover that we did. And then this is from Target too. And we got a couple of these decor pieces um, from the thrift store. Over here in Marie's apartment, she had an apartment in Marie's room. We got this at Target. This little rhino is from the thrift store. Um, and then like a little Target piece. Marie had this Vogue print already. And this plant as well. And I believe this is from like Home Goods, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's from Home Goods. Another Wayfair. And then this was in my old apartment. This is a leather director's bench from CB2. And then right over here, Marie has this piece of furniture as well. And it just has like some of her other bits and bobs and trinkets and options and items on there. And then she has one of these Ikea dressers. I believe this is like the six drawer mom dresser is what it's called. And this mirror here, this is actually thrifted as well. I got this a super, super long time ago and it just looked really good in here. So we added that up there. Uh, we, she hasn't really changed much. So I'm assuming that she likes it, right Marie? I love it. <laughs> so, um, oh, I guess we could share Marie's bathroom too really quickly. There's also this little piece from Amazon, which I've shared before with you guys. And Marie's bathroom, both of our bathrooms are like super, super simple. So she really just has like a little Target plant. Found that at the thrift store. Um, a little candle here. And then we have some wall art up here, all of which is from Society6. Right outside of our bedrooms, there's actually these two built-ins here. This is another one that kind of just stores more cleaning supplies, toilet paper and stuff like that. And then we have my bedroom, which I'm excited to share with you guys. I know I already just did a whole makeover on this room, but a lot of you had questions on where my closet and bathroom were. So I thought I would share that too. And walk into my room, I have this hanging plant here and this has been going strong for like nine days or so now since I did my video. A lot of you guys were concerned about that hook up there 
there and it is super super sturdy so I'll link those because they are the best removable wall hook over here is kind of like my little desk space I love this I actually work here every single morning for like two or three hours right when I wake up I answer emails um, watch YouTube videos respond to you guys and just do a lot of fun things over here and the desk is from Ikea and then down here I have this little CB2 woven basket that actually stores my backpack um, I take this with me everywhere and a little wall macrame hanging that I DIY'd on my channel a while back and then moving over to the right side I have a clothing rack this just has some pieces that I've been wearing a lot of I switch these out per season and try to just make sure that they look really cute in here and then right over here is my nightstand this is from CB2 and it's brass and then I have a little DIY planter I created the bedding is from Brooklyn and I know a lot of you guys actually had questions about that in my makeover I love this bedding it's like all of it is linen hundred percent which is really nice I have a CB2 pillow a Target Christmas pillow that I flipped around because I liked this brown color Color, and then another Target kind of accent pillow here and also a lot of you guys had questions about this ostrich my mom got this for me a long time ago it's from anthropology it still has a tag on it I've had this for like five years and then this is a DIY I did on my channel too a little throw blanket right over here is my dresser area and gallery wall that I designed which I really love I actually kept it as is because I really like the way that it looks at the moment I have this little piece here this is from Amazon it's one of those ones that you can kind of redo yourself and I also have a mirror here this is from anthropology all of the decor here i have a couple of my favorite design books and then my architectural digest and a couple of other things including this little diy candle that i created the santa used was this one it's golden pecan by verathane and so many people asked about like which stain i used on this because i didn't feature it in my most recent video because i've had this for a while but that's the stain color that i actually use on the entire dresser this is my diy storage this storage system is from urban outfitters i love this because it literally has 15 different drawers so you can really section off a lot of your stuff. This drawer, I have tools. So there's like scissors, exacto knives, needles, things like that that I use all the time. This one's a fun one. It has all my embellishments in it. So like little clips and things. And then up here, I have a little DIY that I created. It holds all my jewelry. I really, really love this piece. And this is actually a little one from an Amazon favorites. It's a really pretty little box. And I have some of my jewelry in there as well. Mr. Kate actually got me these uh, little 70s inspired cufflinks, which are super cute. And then over here is a little tray. This is the Alexander tray from my website. And then I have a couple pieces here. Mr. Kate got me this as well. Um, I was on her show for like two episodes. So she got me that as a little present for being on her show, which was really sweet of her. And lastly in my bedroom is my floor length mirror, which I shared how I spray painted it. I did a matte black coating on it in my last video. Obsessed with this. I think the black frame just pops so much against this green wall and I love it Okay, so then through the entryway here is my bathroom and I have a bathroom to where the actual bathroom space here is outside of like the toilet room area over here I actually had started taking off the contact paper when I found out we were moving and I was like wait I need to do an apartment tour, but I couldn't re-stick it on so this is where we're at and I'm actually extremely excited guys because I'm going to be doing a full video of unmaking over my apartment and removing all of like the added details that I added. So anything peel and stick, all the paint, I'm going to do a whole video on how to turn your apartment back to renter friendly to get your full deposit back. I have a little tray here from Target and some of my favorite fragrances are up here. And a little hack of mine is to actually use picture shelves in your bathroom because they're super low profile, but they hold a ton of products, which is nice. And then in here is the bathroom. Room. So I have this piece from Target that just kind of acts as more storage and I also have a little moon over here I did this DIY on my channel a while back and then quickly I just want to share with you guys these little wall hooks They're so cute an S for my last name and a little Leo one. Those are both from anthro Okay, guys, and this is my closet, which is absolutely crazy right now It's the craziest space in my apartment as you can see the full doors filled with shoes like there's just a ton of shoes and there's a ton of clothes in here and there's even more clothes on the ground that I just can't even show you guys because I've been going through my closet over the past couple days um, and just trying to really kind of Marie Kondo my closet a little bit. So there's still a ton that I want to go through in here, but all of my clothes are in the closet here and I have storage at the top as well, which is really nice. And then there's also built-ins in the closet. So I have all of my pants in here. 
Oh, and then also the little cute canvas tote bags, which I use these all the time to store stuff in. We have the tools tote and the visual interest tote. And that's really my closet, which is kind of like the last space in my apartment. And guys, that was my apartment tour. I literally feel like I've been talking for the past 45 minutes because we redid takes so many times because I just can't shut up about my apartment. I am obsessed with it and I hope that you guys like it as well. That was today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know which place in the apartment you liked the best. And every single piece that I actually featured in this video is going to be linked in the description box below. I tried to do my best to find the links for everything if you guys are curious about it all. I'm only gonna be in this apartment until May 1st. So I already have to start kind of like taking things down, repainting walls, patching up holes, packing items. But the nice thing about our new apartment is that it's only about a half of a mile away, maybe even closer than that. So it's really, really super close. So I think the move will be very, very easy for sure. I'll be talking about all of that in next week's video, which is going to be the empty new apartment tour, which is also going to be so exciting. But I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And I hope that you enjoyed my apartment and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.